There we go. Yep. Hey everyone, we are live. Wow, I'm a, a lot later than I was yesterday. Shit. I really need to get on a schedule or something, because, like, man, I, uh, I'm all over the place. I'm going to get up early tomorrow to vote. So, uh, well, I'm going to stay up and vote, I should say. Uh, but, <laughs> so it's going to work out for me, but I'm not sure if, like, the people who want to watch the stream are going to be able to catch it. Like, I need to be less sporadic. I need to be, like, more on the dot with my scheduling, I think. Uh, okay, so, uh, which... The bomb battlefield. Uh, yeah, Jolly Roger Bay. Why not? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be playing through all of the Super Mario 3D All Stars. I probably want to play like uh, Blazing Chrome as well, which is uh, a great little indie game that I really, really enjoyed when I played through it a while ago. But I, I just haven't gotten around to playing through it again. Uh, I mean, a lot of really great indie games I just haven't replayed. Like, Shovel Knight, I haven't replayed. Um, to be fair, that, that's because of, like, the DLC expansions. But, like, I don't like the DLC expansions for Shovel Knight anywhere near as much as, like, the base game. So, like... Um... I don't know, the game really lost its soul at some point. It's really weird for me to say, but, like, I think the base game... Like, at $15, at, like, the base Shovel Knight game, which was great is, like, a better deal than, like, the $25, like, packaged. Like, Shovel of Hope is, like, all you really need to play. Like, I don't like these, uh, these expansions. I really don't. Um, I don't even think I bothered playing the last one. Uh, what was it called? Uh, King Knight? Yeah, I don't know what it's about. I didn't care for it. I didn't hear anybody talk about it. I, I do think, like, I don't think this, um, this process for Shovel Knight really worked all that well. Of just having a bunch of different playable characters go through, like, the same game, well, a very similar game. It, it just th these characters should have had their own um, games entirely, rather than just rehashes of things we've gotten already. Like I was really surprised at how much I didn't like uh, how much I didn't like a lot of this stuff. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, But yeah, there, there's a lot more good indie games out there now. Like, uh, Blazing Chrome is great. Um, oops, yep, I think he's coming out. Okay, so is that how you do it? You just stand in front of him and then he just comes out. No? No? Yeah, I, I love this game a lot, but yeah, I think it is a little bit too soon for another playthrough. I think I am going to have to, like, uh, I think next time I play, I'm going to do the, the DS version. Like, I'm, I'm probably not going to stream it, but, I mean, because I don't have a DS capture thing, but I really got to figure out how you stream GameCube games, because I would love sh to stream, like, Super Monkey Ball, Star Fox Adventures. I would love to do a, a review of Star Fox Adventures, actually. I was thinking that, like, if I um, make another edited video, it's going to be Star Fox Adventures. Um, play through that again. Um, oh, here we go. The eel is so cool. Look at that. Look at that design. Isn't it like... <sighs> ah, shit. Oh, oh, he goes back in. Aww. I don't know what it is with these eel eel missions that I've been uh, struggling with. <laughs> I don't know what it is with the eel that I've been struggling with lately. Like, I used to be able to do this, like, no problem, and now he just keeps getting away from me. All right. Um, this is something I was doing when I was, like, eight. Like, now I can't do it. Oops. Oh, oops. Hang on. Yeah, heal. Well, I say can't do it is kind of an exaggeration because I do I do know like what I'm doing. It's just all right. Okay, get out, get out of here, you bastard! Fuck. Is he coming out? There we go. Okay, so you get into the shake, and then I'll and you stay there in the area. He'll come out. Okay. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him, Mario! No, come on, come on, come on! 
He's too fast! <laughs> Bullshit! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, I think what I used to do is that I used to, like, stand by the hole and get it as soon as it came out. Um... So I guess, like, when you get it to shake, like, and stand in front of it, you just go by the hole. Uh, alright, let's see if we can figure this out. I- maybe I should just replay these levels over and over again until I get good at it. Cause like, I have no idea what is with this eel AI. Like, it's like- like, I don't know what I'm doing that's so wrong. Like, just come out so I can grab the star. Like, that's all you need to do. Alright, uh. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Yeah, that's how I used to do it. Assuming he comes out like he's supposed to. Yep. Ah, oh, damn! Yep. I think it's probably one of the reasons I stopped. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Embarrassing. The fucking eel smacked me, and I lost all the air in my lungs, and I drowned. Ah, oh, man. Brutal game. Okay, no. Uh. Yeah, this game is uh, way more hard hardcore than Dark Souls. Yeah, fuck the Cleric Beast. This is where it's at. The Eel is like the true hardcore gamer's uh, first boss. <laughs> um, weird that the Eel isn't a boss fight when it's probably more uh, more notorious than the actual bosses in this game. Like, same deal with the piano. Like, oops, oh shit. Yeah, let's, let's heal first. Yeah, he's coming out, so... Okay, yeah, I think I might be able to get it. Okay, um... Oh, damn, what? Ah, oh, damn, I... Why am I so terrible at judging distances in this game? Alright. There's something about the way, the way this eel moves that just keeps smacking me around. Alright, yep, got it. We got it. Alright, we got the star. Yeah, fuck you, eel, you piece of shit. Alright, uh... Alright, so I think I've figured out how to trigger it to come out, and after that it's a simple matter of just not dying while you go get it. Right. What's stage three? Is that the one with the red coins, or...? That, that should be stage four, right? Yeah, Treasure of the Ocean Cave. Alright, uh, that one's pretty easy, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, it's not even a matter of, like, easiness or not. It's just a matter of, like, okay, do I want to do it or not? Because I... Like I said, um, I can do basically everything in this game now, at this point. Um, like, very, very easily. There's, like, no... There's no challenging aspect to it. Like, I would say the hardest thing about the game is, like, learning how to do... Do everything. Um, there's some, like, obtuse shit hidden in here that, um... People wouldn't be able to just figure out, you know what I mean? Um, so... So, like, sometimes, like, you're, you'll run right by, like, a course or something. Like, people know about Shifting Sand Land, obviously. That's a really notorious example. Yeah, I think I'll do, I think I'll do, like, a uh, hundred, a hundred coins and, uh, during the red coin segment next. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it's really easy to, this is a really easy game, but... Man, do I enjoy it so much. It's so much fun to play. It never gets old. It really doesn't. Like, one of the all-time classics for sure. Alright, so... Red coins on the ship afloat. Okay, so we gotta get the red coins. So I'm gonna try and get all the all the coin, all 100 coins here, too. Because, of course, I have to get the 100 coin stars. Recently, I've been, like, messing up when it comes to these things, because I've been, uh... I don't want to say I've been slipping, but, um... Um, there have been times where I just haven't gotten all the... All the coins right away, and it just... Ugh. Yeah, I, I do need to, like, start coming up with a strategy to get, like, all 100 coins, so, like, I don't have to dick around with them at the end of the game like I usually do. Like, you just need to pick a star to do it do it on, and just do it. Like, usually I do, like, red coin stars, but sometimes that's not practical. Um, I, I can't think of when that would be. Uh, but there are times where, like, you don't really want to do that. Okay, uh, 21. 
Yeah, it's nice to be playing Switch again. Um, playing Xbox for so long has given me, like, withdrawal symptoms. Like, uh, I'm basically done with Xbox Game Pass. Um, I would consider unsubscribing from it if, like, I wasn't pretty convinced that they're going to release new games on it eventually. And besides, I'm still playing, like, Yakuza and stuff like that. Um, like, there just aren't enough good games on there. There, there really aren't. Um... Like, if I didn't specifically want to, like, review every AAA game that came out for, like, my purposes, I probably wouldn't recommend the service. Um, so I, I guess it's a good deal for, like, gamers, like, people in the gaming community, like, people who play want to play, like, everything that comes out. Like, it's a good value like that, but, like, otherwise, you really should just buy the fucking games. Um... So, yeah, Nintendo consoles will remain my primary source of entertainment. Here we go. What the fuck was that? What did I get hit by? A rock? I didn't see it. All right. Oh, wow. I love how the rocks just fall over for no reason. They just come over and just get you. All right. I think there were coins over here. Oh, here they are. It's getting easier and easier to do, like, a hundred coins, because, like, I know where they all are now, uh, for the most part. So it's not, like, difficult. It's not, like, it's not impossible anymore. Like, there were times where, like, I did a hundred coins here, and, like, I, uh, I did something wrong and lost a significant chunk of them. Wait, how many do I have? Three? Yeah, I think there's, uh... I think I missed one. Is it the one down here, or was it, was it the one up there? Because, like, there are four on the ship. I think it's the one over here, or it's the one up there. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it must be the... This is always the last red coin I get in the water. I don't know what it is. Um, just the way it's placed, I think, is kind of odd. Yeah, see? All right, here we go. Oh, I thought there were four on the ship, but no. It's, there's actually one here. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get the cannon prepped for uh, the next star. Yeah, I'm really uh, excited to play some more No More Heroes as well. Um, this Sunshine Galaxy, uh, I'm really, really enjoying. Actually, I should probably play a lot more Galaxy today. Um, honestly, like I'll probably beat this and then like play Galaxy. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, here we go. Uh, Oh, fuck! No! Damn! Alright. Yeah, I usually just jump the bridge, but, like, when you're getting, when you're getting, like, coins, it's like, eh. You have to get the coins. You have to get all of them. Alright. So, yeah, this is gonna be my first 100-coin star of the, of the run. Uh, very, very exciting. Oops. Ah, uh, damn! Okay, if only I could, uh... You gotta be careful for this segments. Just, uh, I actually haven't gone upstairs yet. I, I believe I beat Bowser in the fire sea, but I didn't actually, uh, I didn't actually go out and uh, go upstairs yet. Uh, oops. To be fair, like upstairs is not my favorite area in the game. Right, here we go. Oops. Wait, what? All right. So thirty-six, uh, thirty-seven. Getting 100 coin stars is pretty satisfying, because you can get a lot of stars really quickly by doing them. I think I am going to go ahead and get all of uh, the rest of Jolly Roger Bay. So this is going to be the first level I 100% this playthrough. Yeah, Jolly Roger Bay is not that hard. Uh, well, I, I guess nothing in the game is that hard. I mean, maybe TikTok Lock is annoying, but can be annoying, but... I want to see how quickly I can do this. This is my attempt at a speed run. Uh, oops. It took me forever to figure this shit out. Oops. Uh. I think I, I think I 
came up here by accident before. Here we go. The first time I did it, like, I think I just fucked around with a cannon and just fired and found it. <laughs> like, I had no idea that was there. I think I got through the jet stream first, actually. Uh, it's kind of interesting how that happens sometimes. Like, sometimes you just get the stars you see. You don't necessarily have to do the one... You don't necessarily have to get it in the order you're supposed to. Okay, uh, wait. Do you, do you get it here, or is there another one? I think... I think there's another metal box somewhere. Um, yeah, one of my big problems with uh, 64DS is that, like, it limits these awesome, awesome powers to, like, specific characters. So, like, only Wario can use the metal cap, which is just really, really dumb for me. I, I don't like that. Um, like, the game does this weird thing, like, allowing you to, like, wear a hat to transform into another character. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> that's something I think... Uh, P, uh, Bowsette fans didn't realize that the whole the whole deal with like transforming into other characters has been a, a series thing for a while. Like, um, I, I think DS was the first one to do it actually. Uh, here we go. Okay, come on, sink. Mario, you're not sinking fast enough. All right. Yep, got it. Here we go. All right, we are set for uh, course three. All right, should I? I think I'm gonna go upstairs. Actually, um, we have the we have the setup. I, I'll probably get that like secret star from the toad real quickly. Then we'll be uh, well, we'll be at forty and a third of the way through the game. So you have to get another forty stars before, before you can beat it, and then another forty stars before you uh, can one hundred percent it. I don't even have 40 yet, and I'm already, like, considering it, like, gotten, like, shit, what am I doing? Um, how many secret stars are left? Let me check real quick. Um, I mean, you just have to talk to this guy to get the stars, so it's like, okay. Oh, that's right, Toad is male, so please, uh... Please don't at me. Hazy Maze Cave. Okay. Dire Dire Docks. I always just do not go to Dire Dire Docks. I go there once and then I immediately always go to Bowser and the Virus Key. It's getting really, really annoying. All right. Uh, Snowman's Land. Snowman's Big Head. All right. Um, yeah, I really like this stage too. Like, it's a... It sticks out from um, Cool Cool Mountain uh, because of the water and like... Uh, some of the stage features, like these things, uh, I like it a lot, um, in spite of not being nearly as good as, um, as, um, Cool Cool Mountain. Cool Cool Mountain is, like, probably my favorite area in the game, so. Oops. I say probably, because, like, I don't know. The Bomb Battlefield, it's hard to, like, top the Bomb Battlefield. It's the first 3D Mario area ever. How can you not love that? All right. Alright. I mean, back in the day, I used to just only play on Devon Battlefield, so... Because, like, I, I could never figure out how to progress, so, like, there was no point Oops. in going anywhere else. Alright, uh... Oh, and I, I would do the slide, too, I think. Yeah, when you're really young, you can't really, uh, do a lot of stuff. Oops, alright. That you, you take for granted as an adult. It's really weird how bad kids are at video games. Snowman's big head. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Switch lineup is uh, dominating right now. Like, they are... Wait, what was I doing? Chill with the bullet, yeah. Um, I love how I'm doing this before Lethal Lava Land. I have not gone to Lethal Lava Land yet, which is ridiculous, because Lethal Lava Land is one of my favorite areas. Um... So I, I haven't actually done the Fire Bully yet, but now I'm here, I'm doing the Ice Bully, which is the exact same thing, only icy. Oops. It even has, like, the platform, like, the, the ice thing, just weird. Okay. I didn't even hit it! It just fell off! I did nothing, and it died! What? What? Does the game think I'm Luigi or something? Like, shit! Okay. 
Yeah, I, I would say the Switch is, uh, um, if you didn't own a Wii U, yeah, yeah, I would say Switch is the best console ever. The thing is, um, I did own a Wii U, so as a result, a lot of shit is, like, also available on Wii U, so as a result, I don't really enjoy Wii Switch nearly as much as I did Wii U. Uh, I've always been very upfront about this. I think, I think Wii U is, uh, way better than Switch. Not that that's, um... Uh, not that Switch is bad. In fact, uh, it's still the best console of the generation, but it's like, well, Wii U actually innovated. It had a lot of interesting ideas and concepts, like uh, Star Fox Zero, like uh, Devil's Third, I think, innovated on uh, the third-person shooter sphere. If Devil's Third was successful, like, um, third-person shooters would never be the same. Like, Devil's Third, Devil's Third would have been, like, a cult classic if it had actually lived up to its potential, which it was entirely due to the... Um, the lack of players, honestly. Like, if there were more people playing and, like, fucking around with, like, the level editor, like, it would have been, like, the greatest thing ever. Like, uh, that game allowed you to build your own maps and then, like, uh, build your own fortress and then, like, uh, protect it from invading forces, like, online in online play. It was, like, the coolest fucking thing. And, um, it, nobody ever utilized it to its full potential because they just weren't enough, uh, players. Uh, we tried, but... Uh, one clan, they were called, like, the Triforce, I don't remember what they're called, they had, like, this little Triforce logo, like, they dominated, like, everyone, and it, it was really difficult to, like, really, uh, to do anything without, like, associating with or against them, and, like, they would crush you if, like, they would come and crush you, like, it was, it was like a curb stomp, and, like, it, it just, ugh. there weren't enough people to, like, stand against them, basically, all right. Shell shredding for eight red coins. All right, so I guess we should go ahead and get the coins here. Uh, you know, just because. I'm at the point in the game now where I have to worry about, like, getting uh, the hundred coins. Ugh, all right. I need to stop pressing A. Like, I'm I'm pressing A when I should be pressing B. So, like, because Y is right there and, like, Y is attack. It's just, I cannot get used to pressing B in this game. All right. You don't press B to jump in Super Mario 64. All right. No! Damn! No! No, I don't want to lose those coins! No! Get back here! No! No! Shit! No! Fuck. Okay. Hopefully, that's not going to be a big deal, but I, I might have just fucked myself over. Might have. Uh, we'll see, but... Oh, come on! Stop sliding around! Okay, yeah, that's... Uh... Whenever you fuck up, like, a 100 coin run, you, you, you get pissed because, like, you do not want to do this again. Like, 100 coins are the worst thing about this game. Like, bar none. Like, I hate 100 coin runs. Um, alright. Uh. Well, to be fair, they're getting better with, like, each playthrough because I know the game so well. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's right. Stomping enemies gets you uh, more coins. I actually completely forgot about that. Um, well, certain kinds of enemies, I should say. Like, it doesn't work with everything, but, like, uh, bigger enemies, like, tougher enemies, it does. Which, um, which is kind of interesting. All right. Because I didn't know that until just recently. Like, I just did it once, and it happened. I was like, wow, holy shit. Like, you probably, like, do it by accident. Don't really register what happened. I don't really think about, like, what it could benefit you. Um, okay, how it could benefit you. All right, oops. Yeah, this is like the easiest red coin level ever. Like, it's just... Holy shit, is it pathetic. But you have to go, like, under the water, so it's, like, really easy to, like, fuck yourself over. 
All right. Uh, Oh, damn. Fuck that up. Uh. Oh, damn. Oops. Damn. Get up, Mario. Shit. God oh, damn. Yeah, there's something about this level that just makes it really awkward. You, like, get up the mountain sometimes. Um, I, I guess that's the way it's supposed to be designed, but it, it just... Why is this piece of water frozen, but this isn't? It's just icy cold. So cold, it fucking kills you. Uh, Alright. Oh, damn! Uh, DSP names? I, I've never heard of that concept. Does DSP really have names for these levels? Or are you just joking? Um, I don't take anything DSP says seriously. Uh, even when I agree with him, which is very, very infrequently, I'm just like, those are my opinions, not his. Like, fuck DSP. Uh, what a piece of shit. Like, how do you make $200,000 a year and still be, like, um, in poverty the way he is? Like, completely in debt. Like, wasting all of his money, completely worthless. It's just... I hate that. Well, that's assuming the, uh, the $200,000 figure is accurate, which it might not be, but, like, if he really is, like, blowing, like, 40000 a year on, like, mobile games, yeah, I think it's safe to say he's making around that much. Um... I, I don't know um, what's going on with him lately. Um, I know he got that bankruptcy dealt with. Um, they basically just annihilated all of his debt. And like now he immediately just goes back into going back into more debt. Like, what a fucking retard. It's why you can't, like, uh, give these people any, any quarter at all. Like, shit. All right. Um, like, I don't get why they why the court did that. Well, I haven't, I haven't followed the case, but I haven't been following the case. I have no idea. Like, the last time I, I followed it was when, like, Rick, Nick Ricada, like, did a live stream on it. He was like, yeah, they're, he's fucked. And then he wasn't. Because, like, he, he's DSP and, like, nothing can fuck him over. Um. I don't expect I would like Catherine. Um, that's just uh, my expectation, but I don't. I don't think I would be into that. Uh, I might try it if it's on sale and I have nothing else to do. But um, I, I don't think I would. Um, honestly, like my expectation is that I think like I would prefer uh, No More Heroes and its commentary on a uh, sexual. Like here's the thing about No More Heroes. Like it's subtle about its commentary. Like it's not in your face about it. Like I don't. I don't know. Like Kath, Catherine fans kind of just. Uh, there's something about it that just doesn't seem like it would sit well re with me. Um, obviously, I don't want to comment on it before I've actually played it, but um, I don't expect I would like it. Um, let's see, what, what else did you recommend? Uh... Yeah, I don't think I've uh, heard of any other any of those other ones, but Catherine, I definitely don't think I would be interested in. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, my video on No More Heroes hasn't gone live yet, has it? Uh, yeah, so, so I did record a video talking about, like, Travis and Sylvia and, like, uh, how they want to bang, well, how, how Travis goes about, like, his sexual desires, things like that. Uh, 
you know, talking about like the symbolism of uh, No More Heroes. Oops. Yeah, I think it's really easy to like fuck yourself over here. All right, here we go. Oops, but. Oh, damn. Awkward as fuck. Are you serious? I have to go around? I hate it when that happens. All right. Like, it, it is actually possible, I think, to, like, put get the star in a position where you can't actually get it because of how it spawns when you get 100 coins. Like, it's just... Uh. All right. So now we got to go back down there. Uh, you got to wait for the penguin to come back. Yeah, he legit made a, a, a... There is no way he didn't, like, pay the minimum, like, every month for his credit cards. And he kept piling more debt on. Like, why would you do that? Pay off the debt. Like, just... Uh, he's so addicted to, like, buying shit. It really is ridiculous. Um, useless shit, too. Like, uh, I don't know, collectible Street Fighter figurines and stuff like that. Like, don't feel sorry for... I, I don't think anybody feels sorry for him at this point, but... Man, is he fucking stupid or what? Alright, here we go. Uh, okay. There we go. Yeah, DSP is an idiot. Um, let's let's be real. Like, DSP is kind of fucking dumb. Um, and he hates Nintendo, too. So that's another thing against him. Uh, fuck it. Like, I, I guess he's technically a pretendo. Because I remember... I, I think you can actually go on a Star Fox video Zero review... And you can see me, like, blasting him, and he actually responded to my comment. Um, like, I stand by what I said. Like, DSP does not know how to play Starbucks Zero. Um, yeah, fuck that. Um, yeah, I'm never going to let the Star Fox Zero thing go, am I? It's like it's almost been five years, and I'm still, like, referring to that as, like, the, the example of, like, game journalists being corrupt. And not understanding how a game fucking works. Uh, but anyway. Uh... I don't know, do you think game journalists are, do you think, like, the YouTubers are ever going to admit that they don't actually like video games? That the only reason they cover them is for, like, money? Like, th that's really all it is. Like, why games like Star Fox Zero get railed on is because, like, oh, I make more money by talking shit about Star Fox Zero. It's just, uh, if I'm the guy who comes out and defends it for whatever reason, like, people, uh, the Wii U, the Wii U pretendos, the haters, they're going to come out and, like, hate on me for being a fanboy. I, I can't have that, so I have to shit on this game. Like, despite the fact I clearly have, uh, clearly don't know how to play it. <laughs> I don't understand the control scheme. I never bothered to learn it. I played through the game once, and then never touched it again. Like, it just... That was really quick. Wow. Summon's Land is, doesn't take long at all. Alright, uh... Uh, Tall Tall Mountain next? I, 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 maybe maybe Tiny Huge Island, uh, just to get that out of the way. Because I'm not a fan of Tiny Huge Island. Like, <laughs> I've, um... I've gotten sick of, like, the last couple of playthroughs of, like, doing, uh... Doing a lot of these courses, uh... A lot of the annoying endgame courses at the very end, so, like, I, I think I should just pad them out and just do them earlier. Um, and then, like, save the better stuff for last. Oops. 
Yeah, you're never going to be in Smash Bros. Piranha Plant. Uh, just like Minecraft Steve. All right. Okay, no, just kidding. You, you have way more of a chance of getting in than Minecraft fucking Steve. All right. Uh... Um, I would think, honestly, like, going by what I've been playing, uh, I would say Monkey Ball is better, at least early Monkey Ball. Um, Yakuza is very, very repetitive, and uh, it, the minigames aren't always great, so, like, it kind of suffers. Um, if Yakuza was, like, perfect, like, every single time, like, it probably would be better, but I don't think it is. Um, so I, I think, like, Super Monkey Ball is better on the basis that, like, uh, the first two games are uh, such so spectacularly realized. Like, they have an idea and just, like, utilize it to its full extent. And it's a lot of fun. Like, I love Super Monkey Ball, um, the first two. Um, I mean, the first game, I should say. I played a little bit of two, and I, I played enough of two to know that I, I love it. But, uh, I mean, I, I need to finish it. Like, one, I, I need to, like, master first, and then I'll play two. Uh, I would say that Super Monkey Ball is better, though. Because um, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel as repetitive as Yakuza does a lot of times. Um, like, Akaza just drags on when it really doesn't need to. And, like, the stories aren't always good. Like, um... It's kind of frustrating, actually, how, like, Yakuza can go from, like, being really compelling and interesting to be, like, really retarded and stupid in, like, a second. Like, in the main storylines. Like, in side stories, like, they kind of come and go. But, like, the main storylines, which should be, like, the, uh, the epitome of what Yakuza is, like, they keep just jumping around and doing stupid bullshit that just doesn't that doesn't work really like I, I don't feel like um, a good portion of Yakuza actually is all that engaging Oops. The, the parts that are are really really good but like that's not everything um, there are things they could have done a lot better and uh, with Super Monkey Ball I don't get that impression at all I think they did everything they wanted to do with it um, But yeah, the, the Super Monkey Ball sequels are garbage. Like, I owned Banana Blitz for a long time. Um, that was the first one I had. I, I barely remember a thing about it. Um, I thought it was lame. Uh, I'll have to play it again to see, like, w how I feel about it compared to the first two. So I think I will uh, go ahead and play it again after I, I finish the first two. But uh, I, I was not impressed with uh, Banana Blitz when I played it. Um... And I don't remember why. I don't remember a thing about it. I barely remember I even own it. Like, that's how that's how unmemorable it was for me. Um. Ah, fucking... No, Koopa the... No, he beat me? No. Are you serious? I lost to Koopa the Quick? I win, you lose. Damn, I need to just kill myself. Fuck. Koopa the Quick. Bullshit. Anyway, um... Did DSP get all 120 stars in this game? Like, did he actually beat it, or did he just stop at 80? Or did he rage quit? Um, <laughs> I know, like, uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron Hansen, uh, Game Grumps, had, like, a big, has, had a big, uh, had a big uh, problem with this game when he played it on Game Grumps. Like, he kind of exposed himself as being, like, the worst gamer ever. Like, oh, well, gamer isn't the way to put it. Like, the worst 3D gamer ever. Like, he doesn't know anything about 3D games. Like, he can beat shit like Ninja Gaiden, but he struggles with Wind Waker because he can't read. Like, come the fuck on, Aaron, you piece of shit. Um, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I think I do legitimately uh, dislike Aaron Hansen more than uh, Darkside Phil. Because I, I, think, I think Aaron has done more to harm the gaming industry as a whole than DSP has. Like, I think Aaron has kind of uh, tried to present narratives that, like, actively harm, like, the legacy of Nintendo. Like, trying to pretend Ocarina of Time isn't that good. Um, trying to pretend, uh, oops, Super Mario 64 isn't that good. Um, having all these weird opinions and ideas and just being all around kind of a toxic person. Um, DSP is just kind of an asshole. Uh, but I don't see him, like, being very influential 
the way Aaron was at one point. Like, I don't see people, like, repeating, like, DSP's opinions and using him as some kind of authority. To be fair, though, I, I think, uh... I think, uh... I think Aaron's in the same boat now. I think he... I think more people dislike him than still follow his content, actually. Uh, which is a good thing. I think Aaron, Aaron is a piece of shit. Uh, but, oof. Like, Game Grumps feels like it's lost all of its energy. Like, it hasn't hit a decade yet, and it feels like they've burned out. Like, they're, uh... <laughs> like, John... I think John made the right call in leaving, actually. Um... Because, like, John saw Zot for what it was. It was just a soulless cash grab. Like, it wasn't actually creative. It wasn't actually... It wasn't actually, um... Oops. It wasn't actually fulfilling. It was just... It was just something Aaron... Just a cheap, easy way for Aaron to make money at the time. That It wasn't going to be last. It wasn't going to last. It wasn't sustainable. Like, it wasn't going to... It wasn't going to improve their content in any meaningful way. It was just a cheap, easy way to, uh... To take advantage of, like, the YouTube algorithm or whatever. Um, that's... That was what happened with that. Um, wait, where's the last itty bitty secret? Uh, so, yeah, John leaving was a... I, I can't believe John is only 30. Like, I, I cannot believe that. I thought he was a little bit older than that, but no. Uh, Pro Jared is, like, 35. Uh, but no, John is, like, 30. Um, so he left when he was, like, what? Um, 2013, so 23. So yeah, like, what has he been doing since then? Like, actually making content, actually doing new things, actually uh, getting new interests, actually getting married, like, moving on with his life. Like, uh, Aaron hasn't done that. Aaron is, like, still stuck in this bubble. Like, he still thinks it's, like, 2005. Well, 2000, uh, 2010, and he's still, like, he's still Ego Raptor Man, still making still making the most popular Let's Play videos on YouTube. And it's just... Yeah, it's not going to be a thing. Uh, that would be like if I thought I would... Um, I would be successful by by solely by streaming. That, that's that's kind of the mindset he's in. Oh, that's right. Shit, I remember now. I cannot believe I keep forgetting this. Uh, no, is it on the other side? I, yeah, is it really on the other side? Wait, hang on. Or am I? Hang on. Wait. Yeah, where's the la where's the last hole? Where's the last itty bitty secret? Uh, wait, so you have to do it from this side? Why? Why? Why do you need to do it from this side? Uh, okay, whatever. Okay. Uh, I don't understand why we had to do this. Why we had to do this on this side? Like. Okay, whatever. Uh, like, it's the same hole, just this different side of the hole. I d I've never noticed that before. Alright, uh, but... Oh, yeah, the, the cloud gaming thing. Yeah, I think uh, cloud gaming is going to be the end of uh, the console power thing. I don't think companies like Microsoft, PlayStation, or even, like, the PC gaming community, they're not going to be able to say that, like, uh, hardware is going to prevent games from uh, coming out on other consoles anymore. So this is basically going to be the end of, like, non-Nintendo platforms because, like, Nintendo is the company that actually makes cheap, affordable hardware that will just be able to stream all these games. Uh, wait, what was I doing? Oh, Wiggler's Red Coins. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I should probably go ahead and... Uh, I don't really want to do the 100 coins now, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait a while. Uh, what should I do next? Uh, should I go up to TikTok Clock and do that? Um, Rainbow Ride. Um, so, yeah, with, with all these major, major cloud-based games coming to Switch, I... I don't think companies will be able to continue with this narrative that, like, third-party games cannot 
be ported to Switch. Like, they won't be able to do it. Like, uh, with Witcher 3, we're, we're already seeing, like, a lot of people, like, kind of struggle with this idea that, like, well, Nintendo isn't supposed to be able to run these uh, mature third-party games, because that's what PlayStation has been telling me since the 90s. Well, that's not true anymore. That's clearly, blatantly not true. And, uh, oops, I probably should have raised the water level higher. Like, I'm not going to get Hitman 3 or uh, Control, because they probably suck, but... Uh, uh, I'm happy they're coming because, like, the more third-party games we get, the more people will, re re will realize that, like, owning a PlayStation or Xbox in 2020 is completely pointless. Uh, particularly a PlayStation. Uh, but... Oops. So, yeah, I am a... I'm very eager to see like um, new games continue to get uh, get released on Switch. Yeah, a lot of people were uh, a lot of non Nintendo fans, uh, Pretendos, were trying to say that uh, or Ocarina of Time wasn't actually the best game ever made for a really long time. So like, Aaron's video was just an attempt at. Um, Making that idea mainstream, uh, just basically, um, basically just um, making a video proving that was the case, and, and he kind of failed. Like people, people did try; they really did try to make it into like the uh, the de facto uh, proof that Ocarina of Time was overrated, but it didn't really take off, and people people just sort of um, started hating Aaron after that. But yeah, it is it is a very very real problem, I think. Um, People trying to understate like OOT's influence on the industry. Oops. Have I beaten Mario Sunshine? I have before. I have gotten all 120 stars. I shines once, uh, and I don't really want to do it again. But because of the re-release, I, I think I'm gonna have to. I think I am gonna do it on stream. Um, I have played it a little bit. Um, Secrets in the Shallow and Sky. There's no point in like not starting with the water all the way up because like you can just, you can just swim down and just lower it. There, there's no point in doing anything else. All right. Yeah, Wet Dry World has a really interesting gimmick, but like I I don't like the environment design. I just it's like so drab and boring. There's something about it that just feels artificial. Like like this is like a stereotypical like N64 area. Like just damn, look at this. Yeah, I think I am going to uh, to beat Sunshine again on stream, uh, just to just to show I did, and like the kind of um, just demonstrate how ridiculous Sunshine can be at times. Um, I mean, I I am enjoying my current playthrough, so like I, I think I am going to do it. And I do want to like get all 120 stars on every game um, in the collection, so like it, it's going to on stream. So that's going to be fun. Um, I think I will do it. Uh, I legit didn't think I would ever do Sunshine again, but like. You know, because of the stream, I'm kind of, like, encouraged to do it. I'm not sure if anybody else is even going to try. Um, I mean, I'm sure there is someone, but, uh... Who's already done it, but it's like... Eh. Uh. Oops. Ah, shit. But, yes, yeah, so I have gotten 120 stars on uh, Super Mario Sunshine. I have, like, 100% of it. I did get that shitty title card at the end, and I bitched about it. Um, legit one of the most obnoxious things I've ever done. Uh... I mean, I've talked about that before, right? Um, I think it's becoming a thing in, like, the, uh, I don't know, the uh, the pretendo to c community to pretend that I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, I totally do. I, I, pr I play a lot more games than you do, uh, for sure. Uh, oops. Well, I used to. Maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I play more games than you do, um, <laughs> for sure. Like, wait a minute. I was like, wait a minute. I, I own every single Super Nintendo game. I've played most of them. Um, I have, like, an almost complete N64 collection. Uh, my GameCube collection is getting rounded out. Um, 
Like, I'm going to be able to beat Super Mar Monkey Ball eventually. Uh, like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hardcore. Oops. Super Monkey Ball is way harder than Dark Souls, by the way. Um, yeah, playing Expert, like, has really kind of convinced me of that. Like, this is even the highest difficulty, and I'm struggling with Super Monkey Ball way more than I would ever have with uh, Dark Souls. Oh, here we go. Wait, what? What am I doing? Yeah, where's the last one? Wait. Oh, yeah, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Oops. I think. Okay. Oh, whoops. I thought I could make that jump. Oh, no. Awkward, Mario. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the game streaming thing is basically over. It was it was basically a fad. Um, Let's Plays were basically a fad, and um, YouTubers have moved on to other things. Uh, I don't think... I don't think Aaron is... I don't think Game Grumps is going to be a thing that people look back on fondly. Like, it's going to be one of those things where people just watch it again and just like, how the fuck did I ever watch this? Uh, that, that's kind of how I, I, feel, I think most people kind of feel. I know, like, some... Uh, some people who will still say they're fans of them, but it, it feels kind of half-hearted, honestly. Like, yeah, I used to watch these people years ago. I'm, I'm fans of them. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't feel, like, really enthusiastic. Oops. But yeah, Let's Play videos are basically over on YouTube. Like, uh, the industry has basically evolved. Like, um, comedy is better. Uh, video editing is better. Like, people are becoming more and more professional. Um... It's becoming increasingly uh, politicized. Uh, there's a lot going on. Okay. Express elevator, hurry up. Okay. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Okay. I, yeah, how is this like, wait a minute. What are you supposed to do here? So I think you do have to start like uh, with, with coming down here, breaking the blocks, breaking the block, and then, and then going up there. Um, Oh, by the way, uh, I am aware that like Video Game Lover Fifty Eight is following me on alternate accounts. So uh, please, please look out for anyone who uh, who comes out with uh, very typical uh, Video Game Lover Fifty Eight uh, isms. Uh, uh, it's really transparent. It's all. It's really obvious whenever it's him. So uh, even when he's using like a different name. So please, uh, please uh, look out for that. What a weird fucking person. Where like he's so obsessed with me like shitting on a uh, on PlayStation that he's uh, he's following me on alternate accounts. He has like an entire Discord server of people trying to come after me, trying to find my actual location. Apparently, <laughs> uh, just wow. What the fuck? Bomb Battlefield, a uh, cool, cool mountain, big booze, a uh, haunt, hazy maze cave, shifting sandland. Uh, where should I go? Tiny huge island. You know, I think I'm gonna go upstairs. I think I'm gonna go go get TikTok Lock, which is the worst level in history. Fucking hate TikTok Lock. Oh, I actually haven't got gone up the uh, endless stairs in forever. So let's let's see what it's like. Um, back in the day, this was like uh, back when you couldn't get 80 stars. Like this was the. Uh, this was so frustrating. To open the door that leads to the endless stairs, you need 70 stars. Oh, 70! You only need 70 to beat the game. I thought it was 80. Okay. Uh, I keep thinking it's 80. Yeah, doing this as a kid was so addicting. Like, you honestly thought, like, you were eventually going to get to the top. And then you turned around. Holy shit, dude. Isn't that awesome? Legit, like, top 10, like, Super Mario 64 moments. Uh, okay. How do you do the backwards long jump? Like, I, I've seen I've seen speedrunners do this thing, where they go up, but I, I don't know how it works. Like, I just know you long jump backwards or something like that. Uh.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna go uh, for TikTok Lock. Um, yeah, we're pretty close to beating it. Oh wait, does this does this guy give a star? I think he does. Yeah, he does. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what the uh, the mindset is on um, why he's coming after me so hard. Um, like, I think he's just a really pathetic person who, like, takes console warring very seriously. Um, like, he does not like people, like, uh, criticizing PlayStation or... Uh, he'll say he's against console wars, but it's not actually true. He's very, very pro... Very, very pro PlayStation. Uh. Yeah, I actually don't know why uh, why he hates me so much. I've I've never asked him. I don't really care care to know, honestly. I, I don't really. Um, the only thing that kind of bothers me about it is like the links he's willing to go. Like, cause, cause I can, I can already kind of see like what he's trying to do with like the whole doxing thing. He's trying to do it. Uh, I know he is. Um, thankfully, like, my personal information is nowhere online, so he's not going to find anything. But, um, it's like, wow. <laughs> like, why would you ever do that? Oops. Yeah, and, I think, and right now, he's making a big deal that, like, he thinks I blocked him on YouTube, and I honestly don't remember. I think I might have, actually, because he was getting, uh, he was going into, like, creepy stalker territory, so I was like, oh, I might have been like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and block him. I, I don't remember for sure, and I'm not sure how to check, but I might have done it. Um, But, like, he was actively trying to dox me. Of course I would block someone like that. Of course I don't want to talk to someone like that. I don't want someone coming on, like, a political video and talking shit about, like, consoles. Or, or like, getting aggressive. Oh, accusing me of, like, wanting to kill black people or some shit? <laughs> like, what? Are you, are you serious? Like, um, what the fuck is that crap? Um, like, no, of course I don't want that. The Pit and the Pendulums. I still have not read that Edgar Allan Poe story. I, I need to get... I really need to get around to, like, reading my Edgar Allan Poe collection. I have one. And I, I, um... I'm sure I would enjoy it, but I, I need to get around to reading it. Um, I spent last night reading this shit called White Fragility. Why it's difficult for white people to, like, talk about racism. And, uh, funnily enough, it's probably the most racist thing I've ever read in my life. <laughs> like, it is so fucking, like, accusatory for, like, white people... Like, oh man, oh man, like, everything you do is wrong. Man, you, you need to, like, constantly think about and apologize for racism. Like, it, it, it's, it's, um, uh, it's ridiculous. And I, and I do think, like, uh, I, I do think, like, anybody who, like, follows these, uh, idiot diversity trainers, like, uh, like, knows they're full of shit. So, um, there wasn't really anything to talk about when it came to the, the book, I think. I, I did a review on it. Like, I talked a little bit about, like, her hypocrisy and, like, her ideas and stuff like that, but, like, it basically just boils down to, like, white people bad because I'm a racist. It's just... Ugh. You know, when people talk shit about, like, organizations like Black Lives Matter, uh, the black community at large, they give actual reasons for it. They give actual examples of things they do or say that's, uh, that's unacceptable. And when it comes to white people, like, white people being racist, like, no one seems to be able to counter that. Like... It's like they want you to be in a state of, like, always being apologetic about something you didn't actually do. Just for being white, basically. Oops. Uh, fuck. Yeah, VGL is uh, definitely a fat fuck. Um, 
No, he definitely talks to me. He's been a uh, he's been hitting me up on Twitter uh, very regularly. Like he deleted his account and like started a new one. I, I don't know what the deal with that is. Uh, I don't I don't actually know what he does to get his accounts deleted all the time. Like my accounts don't take a, don't get deleted. I don't know what he's doing. Probably just bullying and trying to bully and harass people. I I know he goes after other people people other than I people other than me. Uh, I have noticed that. Um, I mean, I don't know anything about, like, those other people, but, like, I, I know he does that, uh, tries to do that. Do that. Um, he always says that, like, oh, man, I'm obsessed with him. Like, no, not really. Um, I'm only, like, acknowledging what he's doing, you know what I mean? Like, oh, Video Game Lover is doing this. He's uh, creating false accounts, coming on my chat, and trying to defend Video Game Lover 58. It's so transparent, like, so obvious. Um... Oops. Let's see the pit and the pendulums. Oops. Is it up here? Wait, did I did I already go? I think I did I run past it or is it up here? I think I might have just run past it by accident. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I did. All right. Yeah, I'm getting. I hate TikTok lock so much. It is the worst level ever. I I despise this level and its gimmick. Like it just. Ugh. Oh, I for oh shit! Yeah, you can't beat this area when you freeze time. Shit, I keep I keep fucking that up. Okay. Yeah, you don't actually want to freeze time because uh, sometimes because like a lot there are cases where you can't um, you can't beat the level. It's one of the reasons I hate TikTok clock so much. It's uh, it's really easy to fuck it up. All right. So how many like different times are there? There's like I know there's double time where things are like double fast. There there's like regular time and then there's like stop time. I'm not sure what else there is. There has to be more than three, right? Like is there is there like a gradual is there a gradual speed meter or what? Um Oh wow, I'm almost halfway through the game. If I was going for like less bullshit stars, I'd probably be at 60 by now. Yeah, le legit once I get through like TikTok Lock and Rainbow Ride, I'd probably be basically through the game. Um, well, Rainbow Ride isn't that hard, but... Oh, yeah, that's what I was getting at. Like, I legitimately believe uh, Welfare Gamer is one of the alt accounts of Video Game Lover 58. That's kind of what I was uh, I was pointing to there. Yeah, that's definitely him. I 100% I, I agree. You, you can tell just by the way he responds. Like, VGL didn't do that. You blocked him. Like, come on. What a fucking bitch. <laughs> like, what a little bitch. Oh, man. Um... Oh, there's a ramming. There's a random one. All right. Um, yeah, maybe I should look it up. And no! <sighs> Damn. <sighs> yeah, you got me talking about the, the how the clock works, and like I, I completely missed my jump. Fuck. Yeah, l let's look it up real quick. I I'm legitimately curious uh, how this works. Uh,
Yeah, I'm going to look up how uh, TikTok clock works real quick. Uh, do I have a... Oh, my phone's charging. Shit. I, I don't want to get up and miss my jump again, but... Yeah, I'll definitely have to look that up at some point. I, I think I do want to keep playing for now, but... Um... Huh. Yep, got it! Finally! Yeah, fa <laughs> Oh, yeah, those people had to eat their words for sure. Like... I don't know why this was so complicated to understand, that Nintendo wasn't going to make major announcements. Oh, that wasn't the Pit and the Pendulum? Okay, that was a... Okay, that was a different one. Okay, uh... Yeah, like, I always knew that the main reason Nintendo wasn't making major announcements this year was because, like, PlayStation 5 and Xbox One Series X were on the way. Like, they wanted to wait a bit. And uh, now that they're announced, now that they're uh, confirmed to be disappointing, uh, Switch is going to whip out the big guns. Um, it's going to rape uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X uh, for the foreseeable future up until the next Nintendo console comes out, and then that's going to destroy them as well. So, like, I legit don't think uh, PS5 is going to be able to recover ever again uh, because of all, they, all they've been doing uh, with alienating their Japanese developers, uh, <laughs> uh, going woke... Um, Making all these critical, critical mistakes that I think are really going to impact them on the long, in the long run. Like, I think the only thing keeping them afloat at this point is the third-party loyalty. Like, that's really all it is. Like, um, without the third parties and their, like, uh, classic IPs propping them up, um, they basically have nothing. But, like, we're at the point now where, like, the classic IPs are basically being replaced. So, um, like, Contra, uh, Blazing Chrome replaced Contra, like, uh, Kickstarter games are being made. A new Suikoden is in, in production, basically, from the actual creators. Um, like, companies can't keep their IPs hostage anymore, is what I'm saying. Like, oh, if you want to if you want to support this, you have to support the PlayStation brand. Like, no. Uh, I'll stay on Nintendo and wait for it to be ported. Uh, all right. Uh, wait, how many... Yeah, Stomp on the Thwomp is the next one. I uh, might as well do that. Final Fantasy 16 is going to kill the brand. Like, Final, Final Fantasy is basically dead in the water at this point. Um, no one has any enthusiasm for it. Final Fantasy 16, like, I don't think that's going to do well at all. Like, I legit I, I legit expect that, like, a Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is going to do better than it. Like, I legit think that Fire Emblem is going to do better than it. Like, I don't think Final Fantasy 16 is going to have much of an audience at all. Like, nobody has faith in the Final Fantasy brand. Final Fantasy 15 was the biggest piece of shit that I've ever played in my life. And uh, people think, like, Final Fantasy is going to continue after this. I don't I don't think so. Like, I think 15 killed the entire brand. Like, I, I think people are done with Final Fantasy. Like, um, serious fans have moved on to Bravely, to Persona, to Fire Emblem. Um, while casual fans will move on to, like, Western RPGs and shit like that. Like, Final Fantasy doesn't have an audience. Like, it's basically no longer an industry leader. Uh, it hasn't been since Pokemon came out, but uh, um, it's been a slow decline, honestly. Like it, mostly because of its um, le the legacy it established on Nintendo hardware. Um, but now, now that's like it's completely withered away. Like it's it's not going to be a thing. Like 16 is going to be a disaster. Like I don't think it's going to look good. I don't think it's going to play well. Um, Final Fantasy VII R was awful. Like the only reason people were defending. Um, 7R was because of its association with Final Fantasy 7. Like, people did not want to come out and say that Final Fantasy 7, the game that, uh... The game that ruined Nintendo was bad, so, uh... Uh, oof. Yeah, there, I am, uh, I'm appalled at the amount of... The, the, uh, the amount of people who have tried to pretend that Final Fantasy 7R was good. Um, it, it is very frustrating for me. Um... But I don't think it's going to carry over into a part two. There is a... This is the biggest indicator, I think, that, like, Final Fantasy VII was not actually a very good game. You don't see anyone really all that excited for a sequel, like, for part two. Like, people are just, um... <laughs> people, like, hyped up Final Fantasy VII R. Like, this 40-hour tutorial, basically. And then, and then they dropped it, like... <sighs> And then, like, they, they don't have any enthusiasm for what comes after. Like, because they, they ruined the story. They ruined everything, right? There's nothing left. 
Like, there's nothing left to remake. Like, you you did the parts that everyone remembers, which was, like, the mid-gear sections, and now, uh... Like, they should have just done the full game. Like, there's a lot of stuff in Final Fantasy VII that's, uh... Very iconic, but a lot of that is like in the first half. Like a lot of the stuff in the second half is actually pretty obscure. It's not. It's not commonly known. Like I was surprised when I played it for the first time how like uh, Cloud's personality is nowhere near what people uh, present it as being. Like it is completely different than uh, what people say it is. Say he's like, and it's um the character is great in the original game, but uh, in like the spinoff material and the sequels and the remake, like it's a. Uh, they completely dropped the ball. Um. Oh yeah, Sony, Sony like spying on you. Yeah, I haven't even talked about that yet. Holy shit! Yeah, uh, Sony is definitely becoming like the most soy company out there. I'm sure. I'm sure Xbox is spying on you as well. But the thing about Xbox is. I don't use, uh, the thing, <laughs> one of the things I've noticed, um, in recent years, people aren't using in-game chats anymore, like, people just use Discord for everything, so, like, I think, like, as, like, companies start, like, uh, spying on you more and more, people will just start using third-party services to avoid that, um, like, I myself am, am gonna start looking into, like, um, preventing companies like Google into, like, spying on me, um, like, honestly, like, I was legit thinking that, like, you know, maybe you could legitimately start a business that, uh, revolves around, like, um, adjusting phones so they don't, um, that Google can't spy on, like, use them to spy on you or something. Like, I'm not sure how that would work, but, uh, like, maybe it's possible to, like, uh, help people, like, avoid being spied on. Um... Because, like, they kind of rely on, like, people not knowing about this, and they're trying to normalize it, um... So, like, I don't really... I mean, th there are, like, little things I've been doing already. Like, my location is uh, completely a mystery. Uh, I don't have that anywhere online. Um, oops. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I, I think the way they are... They're, the, the position they're in now is that, like, they can spy on you, but they can't actually do anything about it, like, with that information. Like, they, they can sell it to advertisers, but not much else. They can't really, like... They, they try to, um... To come after you for having, like, certain opinions and things like that, but it doesn't really work. Because, like, so many people have, like, similar opinions. Like, they're seriously trying to say that, like, they're not censoring conservatives when they obviously are. Um, oops. Shit, hang on. Um. Damn, how do I get up there? All right. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Oops. I was going the wrong way. Like, I think I had... I think I was able to make that jump in the Wii U version, but let's see. Uh, oops. Maybe I was thinking another one. Oops, here we go. Fuck. Okay, I think I'm done with TikTok Lock. Fuck TikTok Lock. I am... I am done with this place. I am done. Yeah, yeah, Final Fantasy is definitely going to go multi-plat at some point. It's one of the reasons why you don't really need to get a PS5. Like, I, I legit um, am expecting that at some point, Final Fantasy VII R is going to be available on Xbox Game Pass, so I won't need to ever buy it. Uh, hang on, how many? 12 Secret Stars? Uh, what are the ones I'm missing? Well, anyway. Um, should I go for a Rainbow Ride? I do a little bit of that because Rainbow Ride is obnoxious. I hate Rainbow Ride with a passion. Um.
Yeah, definitely a really disappointing final level, I think. Well, I guess the Bowser one is technically the real final level, and I really like that one, but... Yeah, the Rainbow Ride? Ugh, I hate it. Hate it. So I do expect that, like, uh, Final Fantasy is going to come to Xbox, and, and especially PC. Um, so, like, you really don't need a PlayStation. Like, you really don't. Like, there's no justifying the PlayStation Nation anymore. Like, it, it's over. Um... And it's not like, like, I, I, why are the PC gamers, why are they obsessively going after Nintendo? Like, oh, you can just emulate that. No, you can't. You can't legally acquire the ROMs, the ISOs you need to, uh, to play Nintendo games on PC. Like, there's no legal way to do that. Like, you have to buy the game legally. So, like, really, you're not doing anything. Like, <laughs> you're paying more money for a gaming console... To run the games that a more affordable piece of hardware can run, like, PC gaming is really retarded, but uh, why aren't they, like, going harder on, like, the PS, the PlayStation thing? Like, th there's no point for PlayStation to continue to exist, and yet they're railing on Nintendo. Wait, what happened to the rainbow there? Why did it disappear? All right, uh... Yeah, I'll have to, like, research how to, like, how to do that. But, like, the thing is, like, I don't do anything that can be considered, like, legally sensitive. Like, everything I do is all, like, perfectly, uh, legal. Like, um, there's nothing wrong with anything I'm doing, I should say. Um, so, like, even if they were to spy on me, this is the thing about, like, the spying thing that I think people kind of don't understand. Like, the vast majority of people in the United States aren't doing shit that the government might have an interest in. Like, there, there's no justification for it. And as a result, like, the government is basically just collecting a bunch of useless information that they're never, ever going to be able to use. Like, on the off chance that, like, oh, uh, maybe this person may... T one of these people may turn out to be a terrorist. Like, it's it's all... It's all really dumb, and you shouldn't... You, it, it really shouldn't be allowed, and it needs to be, like, definitely cut back on. Um... But, like, I, 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 I do think people aren't just gonna... Like, I do think that once... Oh, fuck. Fuck. Again? This happened last time, too! Alright. Exactly the same way as last time. Like, the fucking thing... Damn. Embarrassing. Like, I, I think what's gonna happen is that, like, everyone who actually... Um... Who's actually doing, like illegal shit, who's actually a criminal, who's actually doing stuff the government wants to uh, to crack down on, uh, those people are just gonna not use the services that are obviously, <laughs> that the government is using to spy on you. Like, it's not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Like, they're gonna be super, it's gonna be super ineffectual. Like, they're gonna spend all this, uh, they're gonna do all this stuff, and it's not gonna work. It's just, uh, which is kind of the, one of the reasons I'm so against it, is because, like, it's so ineffectual. Like, it doesn't... It's not gonna solve anything. Uh, like, it, it's gonna cause more problems than it, than it solves, basically. Um, so yeah, don't do it. Don't spy on people. And, and don't have, like, a Facebook. Don't, like, put your real information out there. Don't, don't do anything like that. Um, I mean, I, I do think, like, the vast majority of it is, like, um, users putting up their own information on, like, reliable websites, like, websites that, uh, purport themselves to be reliable, like, Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. Um. Like, just don't release any of your personal information and you should be fine. Like, my real name is not out there. Um, my location is not out there anywhere, actually. Uh. No, I hate Rainbow Ride because it's so fucking slow. Like, it's such an easy level, but you're just standing here doing nothing. Like, shit. 
Like... Yeah, we're about halfway through the game now, actually. Uh, and we're on Rainbow Ride, wow. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. If Nintendo ever actually cracks down on PC gaming, like, um, they're basically going after ROM sites right now. Um, the issue they're having, I'd say, is that they can't go up, they can't legally go after emulators because of, like, Sony's fuck-up in court that, like, emulators themselves are, like, technically legal when they really shouldn't be. Um, so, um, so, like, they have to, they have to take down the ROM sites, they have to do all this stuff, um. I do think eventually they're going to be able to crack down on it. I do think eventually it's going to be very, very difficult to get to obtain uh, illegally ob acquired copies of... Um... Are you serious? What the fuck? What am I doing? Like, why can I not do this? Every single time. Like, it's always the fight. Like, it's... Yeah, yeah. I, I have noticed most Nintendo gamers don't really speak out. Uh, they sort of, like, stick to their own communities and just kind of ignore the uh, the wider issue, the wider gaming ecosystem. They kind of have this reputation for not, like, playing games outside of their consoles. Um, I mean, they don't really want any part of this ridiculous console war. Um, like, they just want to enjoy video games, and that's really commendable. I do really admire people like that, but at, at the same time, like, like well... Like, there are so many people who don't know that there is a conspiracy against Nintendo. Like, there is a, uh, a coordinated effort between third-party developers, PlayStation, the gaming media, uh, gaming YouTubers to, like, ruin this fucking video game company just because they're not developing games on PlayStation hardware. It's just... It's... It's, um... It's ridiculous. Um, so, obviously, I'll be talking about, like, uh... I'll be talking about, like, a lot of what PlayStation has been doing. I don't know. I'm not sure how long I can keep doing it, though, to be honest with you, because I have a life. I have, like, things I need to accomplish, right? I, I'm a novelist. Like, shit. Um, like, I love playing games. I'll always love playing games, but, like, I love playing games. I don't want to spend my life, like, defending some fucking company that I don't have an, a vested financial interest in. Like, shit. Um... I think people don't understand that about me, is that, like, I don't actually, um, care about the... <sighs> Nintendo as, like, a company. Like, if they go to shit, like, I wouldn't... I wouldn't support them, but, like, I legitimately think they're the best company with the best product. And, like, I think there's, like, an incredible conspiracy against them to, like, kind of, kind of prevent that fact from, like, seeping into the mainstream. Like, being, being acknowledged as as the truth as being like the uh, the uh, the reality of the gaming industry right now that Nintendo has the strongest uh company the strongest brands uh the most iconic um games of the past 30 years like <sighs> oof all right if that wasn't true i wouldn't like defend them but it, but it is true so and honestly, like, the way I see it now is that, like, um, I'll mostly be focusing on, like, kind of, uh, I think going forward, I'll mostly focus on, like, the historical aspect. I'll focus on, like, why N64 was better than PlayStation 1, why PS2 wasn't all that great, why PS3 was a failure, why PS4 was, like, one of the kind of exposed Sony for what they actually were. Um, it's such an awkward jump. Okay. Um, why PS5 isn't going to take off, like... I'll, I'll be focusing on stuff like that. I'm not sure if I can, like, talk about, like, every single thing that happens in the industry forever. You know what I mean? Like, th there's always going to be, like, a new game, a new knack that the industry is trying to, like, sell you as being the, the hot new thing. And then it's, like, immediately forgotten when it comes out. Like, it just... Ugh.
No, no, you can take down porn. Like, um... Certain porn videos, like, Nintendo doesn't have to take down, like, every, every ROM on the internet. They just need to, like, keep it from being publicly available and, uh, keep them from being distributed, basically. Like, um, they need to stop everything from being readily available. That's really all they need to do. And, uh, once they do that, that makes, um, that makes their actual... I went the wrong way? What the fuck? Anyway, that was the wrong direction? Anyway, um, they just need to, like, stop these, uh games from being readily available on websites and that will like basically make the actual consoles the more desirable platform because like that's where you can get them much it's much more accessible that way um and there have already been like major major strides forward like uh cool roms is down um i think for good um like at this point like i think you're sort of pc gamers are sort of uh, i don't know what they're doing now it's been a while since I've looked into piracy and how it works, because I don't I don't pirate games. I was um I mostly I was mostly just aware of how it works for uh just to um uh know how PC gamers um steal their content, uh, so I'm aware of like how it works, um so I can criticize it more accurately when they're not like easily downloadable. Like you you can't say that like PC gamer has everything available. Because, like, if they're not easily available online, you're going to have to buy a physical copy, which can get really, really expensive. Like, it's just... Ugh. Like, there's no point. Like, just buy the original hardware. Here we go. Fuck. Okay. Did I start this yesterday? Wow, and I, I'm already 60 stars in. This really is a game I could beat in a weekend, huh? Well, same deal with Sunshine, too. I think I beat... I remember I beat Sunshine, like, a week when I got it. Uh, well, beat it. Like, I, I beat Bowser. Um, I didn't beat the entire... I didn't, like, get all, all blue coins day one. That took me, like, 18 years, but... Um, no, 15 years. No, no. When did I get the game? 2004, 2005? It wasn't 2002. Yeah, it would have had to been, like, 2004, 2005. Because it was before... It had to have been before The Thousand Year Door, right? Yeah, where did I get my copy of Sunshine? I, I actually don't remember when I got it. Huh, interesting. Sunshine was never my favorite game, so uh, I don't remember it very well. I can remember, like, some of my favorites. I remember, I can remember, like, Bad and Kaido's Origins. I can remember where I got that. Uh, the Thousand Year Door, I can remember that. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, I can remember that. Um, Melee is so fucking good, though, dude. Like, I love Melee. Uh... Still my favorite, I would say, uh, in Smash. Honestly, I don't think I've gotten it that far, that much into Smash Ultimate, honestly. Like, I legit think I'm not really a fan of it. Uh, I mean, I can see why people like it a lot, but, um, I don't know. Adding Minecraft Steve, like, what were they thinking? Uh, yeah, Rainbow Rides, go ahead and do that. Oh, wait, what? What just happened? Wait. Oh, yeah, I was looking at the chat, and I was just like... Oh, wow, I failed. Oh, no, I got a game over. Oh, no. I'm a failure. Okay, yeah, I, I was uh, I was thinking of going back downstairs anyway. All right, so let let's go ahead and get, like, the 100 coins from the, the earlier stages. Uh, Bob Battlefield, I think. Um, let's, let's go ahead and get all these. Why do you need to get 70 stars to get the game? Why don't you just only need 64? Like, how cool would that be? You get 64 stars, you could go ahead and beat the game. <laughs> anyway, uh... Yeah, Mario Wings to the Sky is one of my favorite levels in the entire game, so I'm kind of surprised I haven't gotten it yet, but... Um... But yeah, let's go ahead and get some, uh, 100, 100 coins. Yeah, I love this area a lot. It's so creative. There's so much going on here. Like, you have the cannons. You have, like, the Chain Chomp. You have, like, the Koopas. You have the enemies walking around. It's great. And it's not, like, overwhelming either. It just introduces you to 3D gaming. It's it's good. It's legitimately really good. I, um... 
If we have a Thanksgiving party this year, I think I will uh, bring this over and show it to my cousins. Oops. Cousins' kids. Oops. Actually, I, I acquired a copy of... An extra copy of Donkey Kong 64. Did I tell you this story? Uh, yeah, I think I did. Like, my cousin was looking for a copy of it, and uh, I managed to get a hold of one, so um, I'll be giving it to them this holiday season. Uh, assuming it works. Actually, I haven't tested it yet. Uh, the copy of 64, uh, Super Mario 64 I got works just fine, so it probably does, but I probably should test it. I didn't want to get mixed up with my copy. My copy I've had since I was, like, five. So, like, I, I put it away. I, I hid it somewhere, and, and now i got to whip it out again. Oops. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, I really love this game. Um, it never gets old. Like, I I've streamed this recently, and it I, just, I just love it so much. Like, it never stops being fun. Like, I didn't do that last time. Like, all right, um, here we go. Um, am I going for red eight red coins? I mean, no. Uh, this is this is uh, Mario Wings of the Sky, so I just need to get 100 coins. To be fair, there, there are things I need to do to do that, but... I hate how the gate down here doesn't stay open. Like, you have to go around, like, every single time if you want to open that gate. And it's usually pretty pointless. Uh, I haven't gotten behind Chan Chomp's gate yet, either. It's weird. Like, these are the easy stars. Well, to be fair, I guess I did skip a lot, but... I, I did go straight to the end of the game. Oops. Well, go go to the last couple of courses without clearing the early ones like I normally would. I, that's one of the things I really like about this game. Like, you can do things out of order. Um, so, like, I just do things as I feel like doing them. Uh, like, every star in this game is good, so... Uh, wait, wait. Shit, get back here. Get back here, you. Uh, come back. I don't want another game over. Uh, damn! That thing does not want to be caught. All right. Uh... Yeah, if they explode, they, they drop a coin, so... Wait. Did I get that one? No. Okay, yeah, they respawn somehow. I, I don't know how, but... They just come back? Ah, ba da ba da ba da ba 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 So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, this holiday season. Hopefully the uh, the end of the pandemic will be upon us. I'm not sure if they'll be able to keep going, like, after the election. Like, if, uh, once the Republicans are in a position to, like, more, uh, to, like, more actively condemn, like, the actions they've been taking without alienating, like, a significant portion of the population who believes the pandemic is real, uh... Yeah, I expect major changes to come in. And I, and I do think a lot of Democrats are going to get voted out because of the uh, because of the shit going on with the uh, the protests and stuff like that. Like, a lot of, like, really blue areas are going to flip red, I think. Uh, it's going to be great. Um, it's going to be, like, a landslide victory, I think. Um, unless they, like, literally, like, literally steal the election. That's the only way, I think, like... Uh, the Dems have a chance of, like, winning anything, like, this cycle, it's, it's gonna be, oof. Yeah, I wish I could vote on Election Day, but I think I'm gonna have to vote early because of, like, uh, my schedule. Um, I, I will not be able to... I mean, I probably could, but it would be difficult, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I don't want there to be, like, a bunch of lines when I go down there. Uh, like, I want to go in, uh, vote for my guys, and then leave. Like, that's it. Here we go.
Yep, there's our star. There's our star. Uh, oh. So the awkward thing about this one is that you have to like fly through all these coins and get them all. It's just ugh. it's a pretty good exercise in like uh, in flying Mario around. But man, it's fun. But man, can it be annoying sometimes if it's just out of reach? Especially when you like end up getting the final coin, like in midair, and you have to like go back and get it again. It's just ugh. that can be kind of annoying. Oh fuck no! Oh, hell no! Yeah, I was thinking about, like, Mad World the other day. Like, wow. <laughs> How funny is that fucking game? Like, shit, like... Hey, how you all doing, pimps and players? Oh, just, just, damn, I can't do the voice. I was trying to learn how to do, like, a Vegeta voice. Like, yet last night, because I was bored, and, like, I, I don't know if I could do it. Um, I probably could if I trained for it, but, like, what would I, what would I use that for? Other than, like, to amuse Dragon Ball fans. Uh, yeah, I need to watch Dragon Ball again. It's been too long. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, I should say. I've seen Dragon Ball, like, uh, a couple of years back. Uh, but Z, I have not, like, um, sat through since, like, a decade, I think. So it's it's been a it's been a while, and I do want to watch it again. But, um, and I am going to do it, but uh, it's on my list, basically. Um, honestly, I would like to get caught up on, like, other anime first. Um... There's a lot of stuff I need to get through. Like, Legend of the Galactic Heroes is great. I haven't seen it in for I haven't watched a new episode in forever. I watched, like, all of, like, How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift before I, like, watched any more, like, Galactic Heroes. I, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. Because, like, Galactic Heroes is way better than How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift. But, uh, I, don't, I guess I like tits and working out, so... Oh, God Hand? Yeah, the greatest game ever. Fuck yes, I love God Hand. Actually, uh, I just bought uh, Fist of the North Star because, like, you know, God Hand was influenced by it. Um, so, yeah, uh, big fan of Fist of the North Star, big fan of God Hand. Uh, love that stuff. Love that kind of stuff. Actually, I, that's the kind of stuff I want to make. Uh, the kind of thing I want to make myself uh, at some point. Um, oh, th th that's right. Like, one of my novels was was influenced by God Hand. Um, I don't want to say which one, because that one is kind of a secret at the moment. But uh. Oh, yeah, Portland. Yeah, Portland is going to get worse and worse, I think. Uh, they're actually going to elect an Antifa official. Like, yeah. Um, I... They, they can't keep doing it. Not every part of the country is Portland, though. Like, I, I don't think, um... Like, you have, like, a few hot spots of, like, Antifa activity, but, like, outside of that, like, everybody fucking hates them, so... Um... Uh... Like, the main thing is just sort of, like, knowing they exist. Like, knowing they're an actual organization and, like, condemning them, because they are disgusting people. Um... What does she look like? Is she, isn't she, like, some, like, dyke with, like, those problem glasses? Like, a complete, like, stereotype? Um. I mean, Ted Wheeler is pretty bad, too. So, it's like, okay, like, Portland is basically fucked. But, like, good thing I don't fucking live in Portland. Uh. I mean, my, my area isn't much better, but. Uh, I mean, <laughs> well, it is, but. I guess it is. I, I mean, I guess I don't live in Portland. I, I, I guess there haven't been any riots, which uh, kind of surprises me. I guess it's like the size of the town, but... Uh, Wilms Fortress, okay. Yeah, I wish they would release God Hand on um, Switch. I would love that. Um, legit, the only reason I kept playing my PS3 for the longest time was because God Hand was on it. Uh, blast away the wall. That was the last one to get. Blast away the wall. What was I thinking? All right. This is like the easiest fucking thing ever. All right. Uh, well, it's easy. This is the easiest thing to do if like you know what you're doing. I don't know why I, I stopped, but anyway. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get all the stars and then beat the game. I don't think I'm gonna do what I did last time. I think I like, I think I beat Bowser and then like went back and 100%ed it. Uh, so this time I think I'm gonna go ahead and 
just get everything. You've got to be kidding me. What the fuck? <sighs> Epic fail, man. Yeah, I think I'm ready to uh, to play something else. Um, love the game, but like I'm ready for a break. Uh, so yeah, a break from Super Mario 64. Uh, I guess it's time to play some uh, Super Mario Sunshine. I'm not sure how long you can play Sunshine, though. Because I, I do think I'm kind of uh, tired of it. Oof. Uh, tired of 3D Mario at the moment. Well... I want to break from it, I should say. I don't I don't go straight from Super Mario 64 to Sunshine. I'm only doing it because it's on a collection together, but... Honestly, I should probably play some more Galaxy 2 before I, uh, I uh, play a completely different series. Oh, here we go. So, where was I going? Wait, where's my, where's my next, uh, wait... Yeah, so I, how many stars do I have? Okay. Uh, Pinna Park. Yeah, I was going to go to Pinna Park. Uh, so I have about 18 shines. All right, so. I cannot get used to the controls. I think I will. I would legit pick up a GameCube controller for, like, GameCube games on Switch, I think. Um, do they have those? I think they do, right? So I, I think I would do that, actually. Um, that's probably the way to go. For, like, GameCube ports. So, yeah, I think I would do that. FNAF is, like, the biggest garbage in the world. Like, it's literally Undertale Tire, so, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Fuck FNAF. All right. The Beach Cannon Secret. Uh, I wish I would stop and talk to these characters, because they actually do have a lot of interesting things to say. Like, uh, they do have a lot of personality. I like them a lot. Um, it's probably the big thing this game has over 64, is that it actually feels like real or a real organic environment. I mean, that kind of suffers, like, when it comes to, like, the game design and stuff like that, but, uh... Like, when it comes to, like, atmosphere, I don't think... I don't think 64 can really compete, like, a lot of... in a lot of ways. Like, maybe the castle is, uh... Maybe the castle is better, but... in its own way, but... Like, I think the areas as a whole, like, feel a lot more, like, lived in. There's a lot more going on. Like, you actually see NPCs. That, that's really neat, isn't it? All right. Uh, boo. What's with all these Yoshi, Yoshi pattern things? It's just... I love, I love these levels so much. They are the legit best. Oh, whoops. Damn, I love diving. It's so awesome. Isn't this platforming great? Like, isn't it the greatest thing ever? Ah, oh, damn. This is legit, like, some of the best platforming I think I've ever seen in my life. And, uh, the entire... Why isn't the entire game like this? Like, ah, all right. Like, that's what Nintendo needs to do. They need to make a fast-paced Mario platformer with, like, more speed, more things you can do. Like, ah, damn, just... I just love the way Mario handles in this game. Other than not having a long jump, um, like, it's it's the best thing ever, I think. Like, back in the day, I kind of missed him not being able to punch, but, like, it, that's uh, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Dude, I just love that. Like, how is that not the coolest thing ever? All right. Well, well, I really like I really like some areas of 64. There like there are some really bad ones too. Like Wet Dry World doesn't look great. I think a lot, I think a lot of the, the late game areas kind of suffer. Uh, there are a lot of stages I really like though. Um, but I, I think I think Sunshine doesn't really have bad areas though. So that, that's kind of the reason I, I I say that is that like there's so much going on in every single area. They're all completely distinct. They all have like they all feel completely different. There's a lot of variety. Like, like there are things that Sunshine does better than 64. Uh, like it, it does feel like an advancement in a lot of ways, like gameplay wise. Uh, like there's a, like look at all this crap, like water everywhere, like swinging ships. Like wait, is this red coins of the pirate ships? Yeah, I remember those. Okay.
Yeah, I, I wish they like spent more time on this and like made the game really, really good before releasing it. Like I do think they rushed it out to market, uh, which is kind of a shame. Uh, that, that's definitely one of the things I. That's one of the reasons I think like Nintendo might actually be worse off without Iwata. Is like I think, I think we might start to see like games start to come out like rushed again. Um, so that that's something I've been worried about for a while. Is that they might actually start putting out shit like Wind Waker and this again. Uh, for this, like for Wind Waker, Wind Waker kind of works in spite of its um, lack of content. But in this one, I think I think this one really suffers from it. Like both of those games could have been even better than what they are if they spent more time on them. And it just uh, they rushed them out and it uh, suffered. So like I I do feel that like GameCube era Nintendo was the worst um, overall ha so far. Like I, I consider Wii U era peak Nintendo and. Uh, GameCube era, like, Dark Age Nintendo. Like, they just weren't really uh, putting out a lot of great stuff back then. Uh, there were some highlights, but, like, a lot of it didn't feel... A lot of it didn't feel like an evolution of what had come before, I would say. Like, it just felt like a bunch of, uh, a bunch of new IPs and, uh... I don't know, I, I probably shouldn't say that. Uh, how, how do you describe this? Here we go. Oops. And blue coins are everywhere. Like, what is with that? All right. Yeah, I love this game a lot, but unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, playing 64 for like two hours has like completely worn me out, and I don't really, I don't really think I want to keep playing it, um, just because I'm so, I, I'm so tired of uh, platforming right now. Um, like, I want to take a break from Mario, man. I want to play some No More Heroes, man. Uh, wait, was that a, was that a red coin? Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, Oh, come on! I didn't know it was going to swing upward. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the physics in this game feels kind of off, like... Like, you're going to fall a lot, but like, that's, kind of, that's kind of the point. Like, it, the game feels, like, really, really odd about that. Uh, here we go. Oops. Here we go. Uh, there we go. That's three... Four. Alright. Oops, shit, no. Yeah, the entire game is kind of built around, like, the hover nozzle kind of, kind of feel to it. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird in that respect. I, I kind of think Sunshine really does deserve a sequel. Like, I, I think they could do more with a, uh, with a proper, like, a sequel or a remake, like, that adds more stuff to it. Like, I think they could do a lot. That, that would actually be pretty cool, like, for the 20th anniversary, like, just make a sequel to this. Which is coming up in the next couple of years, so, uh, that'll be oops, exciting. Isn't that weird to think that a game that you grew up with is, like, 20 years old? Oops. Um. Yeah, I would say like there are a lot of there have been a lot of Mario games that, that have come out since that are a lot better than this. Uh, 3D Land is better. Like honestly, like I'm tempted to say like 3D World is better, but like we'll have to see. Like I uh. I'll just, I, I want to play 3D World again on Switch. I, I really, from the start, from the, from the very beginning, I really wonder how that game holds up. Because, um, like, I did not like it when it first came out. And I'm not quite sure why. Well, I, I don't remember why. Because it's not something I really actively think about. Uh, which is another reason why I don't really take people criticizing Star Fox Zero seriously. Because, like, I don't... Um, because, like, I didn't like 3D World, and it wasn't really that big of a deal. Like, I had plenty of other Nintendo Wii U games to play, but... 
uh, as far as Starfox Zero fans are concerned, like, oh man, haters are concerned, like, oh man, how could they do this to us? We have nothing to play. Like, just come the fuck on, idiots. Uh, Alright. Oops. This looks fun as shit. Like, imagine just crawling around in an amusement park like this. Like, this is so cool. This is, like... Oof. Oh, damn, really? Pin in a park. Okay. Got him. We did it. Yeah, I, I think I think Iwata is... Um, well, I, I think that's the big reason why I'm not as big a fan of Nintendo now is because Iwata is gone. And I think I was a more of a fan of Iwata than I was of Nintendo itself. So, um, I still love and appreciate Iwata's work. Um, you know, my golden age Nintendo as far as I'm concerned, but, uh, um, if Nintendo does start to suck, I'll just appreciate that aspect of Nintendo. Um, uh, let's see, Rico Harbor, yeah, back to Pinna Park, I think, uh, Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, for sure. That's my big problem with Sunshine. It needed more levels. Less blue coins. Like, maybe three or four new levels. Uh, five, I would say. Five probably would have done it. Like, 15 seems a bit overkill, but I, I think five more. 12. That would have been ideal. Like, as good as the rest of the game. Uh, like, no half-assed areas. Uh, like Corona Mountain. Like, oh. Oh, yeah, this is where you get Yoshi, so, like, you, you have to... Wait, how do you do this? What, what, what am I supposed to do? I brought the baby to look at the sunflowers. The baby doesn't care about sunflowers. It just wants milk. Okay. So, I don't get why these things look like Yoshi eggs. Like... What's with the crazy sound they make? Alright, and they come after you? Uh... I do like a lot of the unique... Uh... The unique enemies in this game. Like, they came up with a lot of stuff that you didn't... That uh, didn't exist up to this point. This is one of those games that introduced a lot of... Uh, a lot of enemy types that... Uh... So what are these things' relationships to Yoshi's? Because, like, you get Yoshi after this mission, right? Uh, but they have, like, similar patterned shuttles, but, like, other than that, like, what the fuck are they? Like, are they a kind of Yoshi? Are they just there to trick you, or what? Alright. I'm loving it. Yeah, I love that. I love the sunflowers. I, I love, like, helping them. Helping them thrive. Alright. Why isn't the park taking care of this problem themselves? Like, surely this beach is their property. Alright. Gotta love how, like, these are ordinary sunflowers, not the giant, big boobied one from Conker's Bad Fur Day. Shit.
Yep, he has the egg. So yeah, what you're supposed to do is get the egg, hatch it, and then uh, and then go up to Serena Beach. Yeah, I think I am gonna probably order a pizza or something. Um, yeah, I'll probably order a pizza, wait till it gets here, like take a break to eat it, and then like go back to the stream. Probably, uh, we'll see. I love how you get the, the news bulletin updates. That's awesome. Uh, have I really been only streaming two hours? It feels a lot longer than that. But I love how he tries to get away from you. Like, I love how you can, like, run around in buildings in this game. This was this really does feel like that sort of predecessor to Odyssey. I was just about to ride that Yoshi, too. You were friended, Yoshi. Aw, oh, we got Yoshi. Yep, we, uh, we're going in to Serena Beach. This is probably my favorite area in the game because it's a haunted hotel. And there's there's all sorts of crazy shit going on in this hotel. There, there is so... Gotta love how you can actually see, like, other areas uh, realistically, por por realistically proportioned in the distance there. Like, you can't actually go over there, but it's kind of nice to see them in the background. Okay. Um... No, we don't know what this thing is, but it uh, it kind of exists. Like this is the most bizarre thing I think I've ever seen in Mario. It's like some kind of like some kind of like Cthulhu like creature that can like just kill simply by sliding along the ground. All right, all right. Uh... So yeah, this is a really fun one where you have to like go around. Uh, Spray it with water until it dies. It's really simple, but there's so much going on here. It's a lot of fun. I love this area. Hang on, let me, let me heal. Like, I think you can hide in here. I don't understand how this thing works. Like, they, they can't spread the goop, like, in these, under these things. Like, nothing about this thing makes any sense, and it's great. I love it. Uh. Trash. All right. Uh, what am I gonna What am I gonna play? Uh, yeah, they're going all over the place, so it's kind of hard to keep track of them all. Oops. Hang on. Let me let me refill. <sighs> yeah, I'm really hungry. Uh, they are all after you. Oh, after a certain point, they all come after it, yeah. Like, once they're almost dead, then they come after you. Okay. Yeah, what a great level. I, I really like that. Um, it 
Just die already. How many of them are there? Shit. It's a good thing water seems to kill him. Alright. Hotel Delfino. Okay. I think I'm gonna order some food. I am hungry. Yeah, where should I go next? Uh... Hey, what? Huh. Okay, weird. Uh... I should go back to the beach. Uh... The hotel lobby secret. Okay, uh... I love how this guy becomes your friend as you, like, go through the game and, uh... Actually, I think I am done. I, I think I will play this one, but... <sighs> it's full of ghosts?! And you call Mario?! Like, what the fuck? Luigi's Mansion just came out, you piece of shit! Alright, uh, hang on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead, keep playing until like my food comes, and then take a break. Okay. Oh, hang on. Let me order my food. I can't. I can't say I'm gonna order food and then not actually order food. I got distracted for a minute. Uh, all right, let's see here. Sign in. I'm going to have a delicious barbecue spinach pineapple pizza. Sounds wonderful. All right. Yeah, I've been losing weight recently, too, so I feel kind of guilty, but whatever. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Cannot wait for it to get here. Alright, uh... Yeah, maybe I should play something else. What, what, what should I play, um... Yeah, maybe I will finish this one, but... I cannot stand how there are two different buttons for the spray. Like, that's just ridiculous. Uh, I cannot get used to that. All right. Yeah, I am definitely... I would definitely recommend getting a GameCube controller for this. Uh, I probably won't bother, because, you know, it's a challenge for me to do it with these garbage controls, but... 
Yeah, I wish you could, like, map the buttons. Like, wh why am I stuck doing this? I, I guess... I guess they expect you to just get a GameCube controller if you want, like, a regular control scheme, but... The normal control scheme, but anyway. I love this. This is so good. Look, look at how, like, quick and intuitive and, like, creative this is. Then you got a wall jump up. I, I just... I love these levels so much. They're so good. Ah, fuck! Da 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 Damn, I hate it when that happens. Okay, so uh, th that's something I i don't think I've talked about in this game. Uh, there are certain seg segments of it that uh, feel really glitchy. Like, there, there, it does feel like there are certain times where you're not dying because of a mistake you made, but because the game fucked you over. And that was absolutely one of those examples. Oh, shit. Honestly, like, I think I'm ready to, to play something else. Um... I'm gonna try to get this star, but um, I'm not gonna be upset if I don't. I I am really tired of platforming. I'm really tired of Mario at the moment. I'm all Marioed out at the moment. I need a break. I need some pizza. Oops. No! What? What is wrong with me? It, yeah, I am. Uh, I am just slipping up. Shit. Am I getting slow? All right. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna end the stream actually, and then just spend the next rest of the night like reading. Um, maybe watching some anime. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 but it's a da 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 Hey, what? Hot ah, damn it! It's not that hard to stay on the platforms. I just, I don't know why I'm like, I don't, I don't want to say I'm choking, but I, yeah, I think it is just because I haven't eaten a real meal. Well, I had some like oatmeal. Well, I say real meal, but I haven't eaten in a while, so. Oof. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to eat. Oops.
23. Awesome. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's play something else. Um, yeah, what should I play? Um, it feels like the camera just always goes over there. Like you've never actually been to that area before. Uh, okay, Blazing Chrome. Oh, No More Heroes. Yeah, I could play some uh, No More Heroes for a bit. Uh, no, I, I'm I'm tired. I, I do think I'm ready for a break. Um, it, I'll, I'll just end the stream now. Um, yeah, so thank you all for tuning in. Um, Pikmin 3 is coming out tomorrow. I'll be... I'll try to be playing that all... Uh, playing through a significant chunk of that. Uh, stay tuned for that, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.